Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on my channel, Dragon Rage videos or the videos are the rage. Go grab yourself a drink from the fridge, kick back, and I really hope you enjoy this week's episode of Mystery Monday. Thank you all so much for joining me, everyone in the message, everyone in the live chat, if there is anyone in the live chat, I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Uh, so in the last episode of my Mystery Monday, it was very lackluster for a $30 uh, mystery pack. So this week I thought, why not, let's double it up. So I decided to spend $60, um, obviously hoping the content is going to be a lot better than last episodes. Uh, so I don't know what's in here, obviously it's a mystery box, uh, but the seller did inform me there is at least a graded card uh, with a minimum grade of 8 out of 10 so you can't get anything on that which is fantastic I do enjoy graded cards I love adding them to my collection so without further ado let's go ahead and open this up guys I um, will see what the contents are inside so I'm just going to quickly open it off screen to have a pretty big uh, coin collection. I don't collect them anymore. Um, unfortunately, I sold them or gave them away, but this is a beautiful Raikou coin. Sparkly Sparkle, and that's a Volcanion. It's another nice, another nice coin, sorry. And we'll go through this over here. All right, so it looks like we've got some packs, which is good. I always like to see packs. And we've got some cards here, so these are some reverse ho uh, hollows, so we've got a Serena, a Per Ugly, a Durant, a Sigalith, and a Inke, I'm not too sure what set they're from, uh, that's I think Silver Tempest, that is 163, I think it's Battle Styles, I think Battle Styles. Silver Tempest, and I think that's Lost Origins. All right, so I don't need any of them. We'll put them aside over here. Um, and I think let's check out the graded card first. So it is a CGA, uh, definitely not my favorite, even though it is an Australian one. I don't like the Australian graded company, but it is a CGA. Uh, let's look at the condition first. Looks pretty good, a bit of whitening on that corner. A little bit there and a little bit there. Okay, I don't know if it's covered that way, covered this way. So it's a Nido King. Um, what set is that from? So, okay, so 2007 Secret Wonders. I don't have any of that set. Uh, obviously, I started collecting when Celebrations came out, so anything before that I don't really have. Uh, but it is a nice card, non hollow. Um, Judging by the condition, I think maybe CGA 8, it's a 9, okay, so it's a 9, Mint, CGA Mint, Nido King from the Secret Wonders, uh, looks pretty good, I'm surprised you got a 9, I thought it'd at least get an 8, there's a lot of white in the edges, not that good, but uh, yeah, I'll definitely take that, it's cool, Nido King is one of my favourite Pokemons, and I'll just put that there, because we do actually have an Evolving Skies Blister, they're very hard to come by in Australia now. I think uh, they're selling between $10 to $15 per pack. So I'm definitely going to open that up last. Um, we have a, what's that, Lost Origin, a Silver Tempest, and a very undesirable Japanese Pokemon Go. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. Um, it's undesirable because I haven't actually started a Pokemon Go collection as far as the Japanese one goes. But uh, I mean, you know what? We can still get a Radiant. I'm not going to lie, guys. We can get a Radiant pool. We can get a Full Art. We can get an Alt Art, maybe a Rainbow. I'm not too sure. I don't know if there's 10 packs in here. I don't know if there's a card trick. So it doesn't look like there's 10 cards. So maybe no card trick. There's the code. I don't know if that works here, but it's there anyway. So we've got a Bidoof, a Charmander, a Larvitar, a Steelix, a what's that, Hollow Glissy, I think that's the Hollow, a 
Follow energy. Alright, so there is a bit of a card trick, so nothing really that good from that pack. Uh, not too bad anyway, that's fine. Let's get into Lost Origin now. So I'm not really expecting any uh, big hits. I do have some sleeves ready here, just in case. Just in case, guys, you never know. I'm still uh, hunting that Lugia all art, so I'm happy there's a Silver Tempest pack in there. So we've got a Energy, a Carbink, Panic Mask, a Lampert, a Murkrow. You can see that bad print line right in the middle there. Love the quality control happening from Pokemon. Clefairy, a Lickitung, whoops, a Horsey, so we did get a, a Trainer Gallery Chandelure, and a, oh, is that, wow, that's the gold one, would you guys actually believe I pulled uh, the, I can't find it now, I pulled the uh, normal one not too long ago, this is actually the gold one, that is a hit and a half, very happy with that, very, very happy, we'll sleeve that bad boy up. I was not expecting that. Just give me one sec, guys. I'll see if I can find the other one. All right, so that is the other one I pulled just yesterday. And this is the one that I just pulled now. So I'm very, very happy with that. Um, can't tell you how happy I am. So I'll put that over there. I'll put that one back over here. I will actually sleeve up this one as well. Uh, because why not? So grab a sleeve. And we'll sleeve it and let me just tidy up because everything's an absolute mess. Okay, and just like that, everything is cleared up. So let's go ahead and continue on with the Silver Temper. So I am still hunting that Lugia Old Art. Um, I'm obviously, I'm not expecting uh, to get it with just one pack, but you never know. I mean, that Zora V Star Gold. Uh, has been pretty shook at the moment. Was not expecting a gold pool at all. So here we go. Psychic energy. Let's slow roll this one, guys. Honch Crow, Raichu, a Ferrothorn, a Feebas, a Fennekin, a Krogunk, a Spinarak, we have a Beldum, Reverse Hollow Relicanth, and a Hollow Rare Metabrose. I don't actually have that one, so I won't sleeve it anyway, I don't need it. And finally to end it off, Evolving Skies, there are so many cards that I still need from this set. Uh, obviously the Moonbryon, so Moonbryon, there's a few uh, VMAXs, a few ults uh, and whatnot. Uh, there is a lot of good cards in this set, so even the Rayquaza, uh, Rayquaza Alt Art, VMAX, any, anything like that, anything I can get, I'm very happy with. Uh, they are very rare to come by, as I said, so let's see how we go. Anyway, there's the code for you guys. Alright, last pack. I really hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Mystery Monday, guys. Uh, we'll go through this one. Digging gloves. I think I see something in the back. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Digging gloves. A Stormy Mountain, a Shelgon, a Marip, a Hopip, Dino, a Tentacle, a Zorua, Reverse Hollow Crystal Cave, and I think my eyes were deceiving me. We have a Hollow Rare Jump Fluff with terrible, terrible print lines right over there. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Mystery Monday. Uh, stay positive, stay safe out there. What do you guys think? Let me know. Was it cashed up or trashed up? Leave a comment uh, in the comment section what you thought for $60. To be honest, it was pretty meh at the beginning. I think the Zorak V-Star really, really came through for us. So, catch you guys later. Peace.